Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 236. I want to just start this episode off by firstly apologizing that we missed a day yesterday. That's like the second time that's happened during this series this year, and it's not good enough. Um, but as I've mentioned a few times, I have been doing a little bit of traveling. Uh, and where we stand right now is that this was captured sort of a few days ago. Um, but then from tomorrow, we'll be back with like last weekend's re uh, weekend league rewards. Uh, and obviously with it being TOTS now, I hope you're all enjoying TOTS. And with our rewards that we actually open tomorrow, uh, we'll be able to potentially pack team of the season players. So we'll literally get right back on track. So, yeah, that's just getting that bit out of the way. Um, so we started, or the, we ended the last episode with Cristiano Ronaldo getting listed on the market. He didn't sell in the first hour, but then he sold for the price that I actually listed him up for in the second hour that I listed him for 989,000 coins. Now, what that does is bring us up to over 1.5 million. Um, and yeah, like that, that's pretty good. Now, that was just with the impression that he would drop loads at the end of last weekend league. I haven't been able to check to see if he did drop with team of the season coming. So um, by the time you're watching this, I'll probably have had a look, seen what Ronaldo is at, whether or not we're going to pick him back up again um, or whether or not we'll be able to afford him. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out but what I did want to do whilst there was still active were pick up a few loan items that I figured I'll probably want to try out at some point during FIFA 19 um, and that was just to get Johan Cruyff in um, and it was to get Eusebio in and also to get 20 games on a 96 rated Raheem the Dream Sterling so uh, we have them I, I don't have any plans to use them right now but it's nice that they're in the club uh, and then we can use them should some sort of objective pop up where we need to use certain nations and they fit or whatever and we're allowed to use icons, then obviously I can stack it in my favor by using like a Johan Cruyff or a Eusebio or a player of the year, uh, Raheem the Dream Sterling. So, so yeah, anyway, there was a couple of packs that I had stored up that I was going to save for like tomorrow's rewards video. But then this episode came around and it was actually going to mainly be based around me doing some more League SBC stuff uh, and just showing you... You know, some of the some of more of our progress over there. Uh, we do get boards from this pack right here. This is the mega pack, I think, uh, which we get. I can't remember what we got these for. Oh, were these some of the last week's weekly objectives, weren't they? Yeah, they, they, that was for like doing the Besiktas stuff uh, and the score with the man of the match player or whatever it was. So yeah, that, that was that's where we got the 35k pack and the 25k pack from. Uh, and we just opened them up, hopefully to get some players, because I knew that I was at a little bit of a stagnant point, a little bit of a standstill with some of the league SBCs. And I needed to go through the main ones again to see how many players I had and if I could make any of the teams work. So uh, FS Mainz, Mainz, however you pronounce it, was the first team that I actually had uh, a few of the players from. Uh, so we managed to go out and spend a few few thousand coins or a couple thousand coins on the remaining players uh, to then go ahead and, and pick up a few more. I then looked at Liverpool and I was like, you know what? I reckon I can use that bronze and that silver. So it's not going to cost us much at all to really complete Liverpool. So I bought Mignolet, I bought Lovren... Um, the left back, a Moreno, and then a Shakiri as well. And that was enough to complete Liverpool for a rare Electrum Players pack. Uh, these are my favourite packs on the game, by the way. Especially for League SBCs. We don't get a walkout, but we do get an orange man of the match. And it is a centre-back called... Is it like Mexa? Is it? Yeah, Me Mexer. Um, now, he's obviously not in packs by the time you're watching this video. Uh, this was done literally last weekend. Um, but yeah, we get 81 rated Mexer in a pack. Uh, and that's obviously good because although he's a discard value card, it just means that we're going to add 15k to our coin balance um, because we will just discard him. You know, th at that point that he literally wasn't, wasn't selling for 15k. So we'll just take the money and go. Uh, I probably should keep a player like that in case we ever get the objectives again where you need stuff uh, but hey you know it, it, it is what it is now what I could do with you, from you guys today is if you hit that thumbs up button I'd be very very thankful uh, obviously we missed a day yesterday and I don't want us to dip out of like this the support and stuff of the series so if you guys can hit that thumbs up button that would be amazing uh, and I do hope you're enjoying tots leave a comment down below right now have you packed a tots yet if you have which one did you get? Because, I mean, when I'm recording this video, I don't even know who's in the confirmed tots. But 
if it's out, I want to know which players you've managed to be getting in blue and if they're easy or not to pack. Uh, because obviously I'm looking forward to opening my rewards for you guys in tomorrow's episode. Uh, because I have like some, I'll have some good packs to open. And part of that is because of what we're doing in the second half of this video. Um, <clears throat> So we get boards in this pack, we get William Jose, uh, Brighton is up next, I did have to go and buy a fair few players from Brighton, I think I only had 6 players, where normally the magic number is 7 of course, uh, but you know what, sometimes I just I just wanted to get this on the run, and I figured that I could probably do a fair few of them for fairly cheap, and we actually get an inform from Brighton, uh, and it is a like 16,000 coin, uh, 82 rated inform from Spain from called Campania, who was obviously in last week's team of the week, there'll be a, a whole different set of players out at the moment um but yeah i'm also i'm just super curious to know which is which is the first blue we're gonna get um and oh man when is that gonna come i'm so excited for things to all just turn blue on fifa uh, and it's obviously happening at this time for you guys so small roll uh, rare gold players pack next uh no walk out from this one i'm afraid like the the league sbc stuff today has been kind of weird because i there's been like a couple players which are super useful, like the the, the 15, 16k inform we get some money from, that man of the match obviously we get some money from, uh, but other than that it's sort of like been a little bit meh. Uh, and there's no walkouts there, but we've probably like leveled out or profited a little bit just because of those two, like, well, the 30k's worth of uh, special cards that we managed to get from from a couple of the SBCs. We've done a fair few here today uh, and, and, you know, etched our way closer and closer to completing some of them again. We do get boards from this next one, and it is Italian centre-back from Juventus, which is 84-rated Barzagli. Definitely will take that. That's not a bad one to get, you know. That's, that's off Often useful, uh, and I think is it Barzagli and Perrin that you typically need to use uh, for Juventus. So you know that's that's decent for Serie A SBC. So Campania sold a whole bunch of other stuff, started selling, and we're down to one point one five, or yeah, one point five one five million. Um, and now you're going to start to see that coin balance dwindle away because for the rest of this episode, we're going to be buying about. 585k's worth of players, um, which is the the actual coin cost of what it's going to cost me today to complete player of the year, Virgil van Dijk. Now, I think his SBC, his SBC will still be active for like one day or something when you're still watching this. Now, I've decided that... Uh, well, I basically put it to Twitter, and I gave them like an hour to vote, and uh, I said to myself, this is going to be the, am I going to do the potty SBC or not? Uh, and it was like 75 to 25%, so everyone wanted me to do it. I, I, I kind of, you know, told them how it was. If it's going to cost me about 600k and player of the month Van Dyke and a whole bunch of other special items, would you do this SBC for the player of the year? Do you think it's worth it? And literally 75% of people said it was uh, or that they wanted me to do it. I know sometimes some of those people will probably just be like for the content, um, but I'm part of that as well. You know, I love to bring this sort of stuff to you and it's only going to improve our team as well. Uh, and... I had other people telling me, hey, lastly, don't waste the, the 600,000 coins that you've got right now on on that player. Save some of the other players that you've got for other SBCs and keep your coins for tots. and Or, or buy the team of the year, Van Dyke. Like, um, I get that. I totally get that. But it would cost me more to buy the team of the year, Van Dyke, in my actual coin balance. And... I would then have no use for the 92 rated player of the month. Part of the reason why you do this and you save quite a lot is because you've got such a high rated Van Dijk item to stick in, which is either useful for the Liverpool part of the SBC or more importantly, the Netherlands part of the SBC. So that's where we're going to put him in today. So I made a couple of little mistakes and bought a couple of players which then wouldn't work for chemistry and ended up going out and buying a Marco Royce and I think an Ozil as well in the end and then selling an Allison and selling a Thiago um, because they wouldn't work for chemistry. I was, I was lacking chem on this one right here. So this is the, the SBC where we're going to submit most of our like special items. So Thiago Silva Footmas. 
Flashback Tevez, uh, Player of the Month, uh, Max Cruiser. We have a red uh, Caligiuri and also the League SBC Delaney. They all went in one foul swoop. But that's a 300k SBC, which literally cost me about... Was that one the 90... It cost me like 90k or something. So we shaved a huge amount off of it. The next one, this one right here, the, the Premier League or the Liverpool one. Uh, you know, we've used our Kante untradeable Kante, League SBC Scriniar and Ducore, uh, and then everyone else I think we ended up buying. But yeah, like it, it saved a huge chunk again off of just literally spending the entire SBC. Next up, we have the the Dutch one, the Holland squad, uh, and with that one, we've we've submitted a untradeable man of match Sillison, uh, because he's just Dutch and fairly high rated. We're getting rid of Milinkovic Savic, and of course, we are getting rid of 92 rated Virgil van Dijk. I get that he cost me like 350, 400k at the time, and it seems mad to put a player like that in, but we're never going to use him again, because we're getting him back at the end. So, he's like a huge help in bringing this particular SBC down in price, because because you don't have to, because you get like a 92 rated player, which is so useful when you're only submitting an 87 rated squad. So, absolutely happy to submit Virgil van Dijk player of the month into that one. And then it all comes down to the final squad. And this one I went and bought literally every single player for. And then uh, my club's a bit, a bit sparse now. Like, I don't have that many special players left. But I did have a look at like, yeah, we could save the odd. I could have probably saved 20k and not use Verratti. Um, if I used, uh, like, if I did kind of like that and, and use that Martinez guy. But, like, I feel like there's a chance maybe I'd need him at some point for, like, MLS stuff. So, instead of saving 20k, I just submitted the squad that I paid for, kept that Martinez, and now we have got the player of the year, Virgil van Dijk. I think they've done him a disservice on his picture. I've seen the actual picture that was taken at the event, and I don't know why they've upped the brightness and the quality of it. So it's just, it's pretty poor when you look at that picture right there. I don't know why it looks like that, but hey, um... You know what it is, what it is. We lose the dynamics half the time, and I'll just be seeing Virgil van Dijk's normal picture anyway. So, 96 rated van Dijk with 86 pace, 97 defending, and 99 physical comes into our club. But not only that, but he dribbles incredibly well. He can actually shoot too, and his passing is next level. So, I think this is probably the best centre-back on the game, and I'm so happy that... After spending zero pounds this year, we've been able to get the best centre-back on the game, as well as Ronaldinho. And we've still got over 900,000 coins in our club, and a pretty sick team. So yes, we sold Ronaldo. I might be able to buy him back, depending on what his price is right now. Um, but for now, we obviously have Perisic in our squad, who will be playing the left cam role, and Aubameyang will just go back up top. I do, uh, I would love to have Cristiano Ronaldo back in. Maybe we'll start looking at that. Maybe there's a team of the season player that's come out that you guys know about that I don't uh, that would fit our team brilliantly and we could obviously pick that player up then. Um, so yeah, Virgil van Dijk, 96 rated. He does look absolutely monstrous. Uh, and basically, I don't feel like I've stuck an engine chemistry style on him because he doesn't need any help in the defending and physical aspects. But if we can give him a little bit extra pace, some agility, some balance, some more dribbling, and then obviously passing as well, that's going to make him the perfect centre-back, right? So we now have an end game centre-back and we've already lost his dynamic, as you can see. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's episode. So we've done some more league SBCs. We've got loans for Eusebio, Cruyff, and player of the year Sterling, and we've done the full version of 96 rated player of the year Virgil van Dijk I got him and I'm very happy about that um, and it cost me 582,000 of my coins and then a lot of stuff from my club which I'm sad to say goodbye to but um, thank you you've been a loyal servant Tevez van Dijk player of the month you've been amazing let's hope your player of the year is just better and and is totally worth it let's hope so anyway guys hit me with a thumbs up surely getting a 96 van Dijk in today's episode is worth your thumbs up did you get him are you going to get him if there's still a day left on the SBC I want to know um, make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on Twitter and Insta those links are down below most importantly have a lovely day everyone and I'll catch you next time peace